Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 577. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 575 to 578. Hey, in this trick here, we have a data set, and there are lots of duplicates, and we want to find the duplicate. So somehow we need a way of identifying a record that has EVA quad and 43. We are interested in the duplicates. And then from the duplicates, we need to extract unique records. So in essence, we need to eliminate, before we do advance filter, extract unique records, we need to eliminate all the records that are listed only one time. All right, I'm going to add an extra column and create a formula for true and false. Now, one problem with this is we're checking a record. Uh-oh, I have this randomizing. I shouldn't uh, have that randomizing. I'm going to control shift down arrow and then right click the edge because those are formulas. Drag it and then drag it back and then the pop-up menu say copy here as values only. Now this is a static one. I hit the F9 to randomize. It's not randomizing. Now again, uh, we need a formula here. And the problem is we need to check the record. But notice there's three things in the record. One way to do it is to add an extra column and join all of them together to have an extra column. But I don't want to waste the space. So inside my formula, I'm going to join these three things together and then check those three things. Is there another three things, meaning a record that's a duplicate? I'm going to use sum product equals sum product. Sum product. Uh, I'm going to use some product because this formula is going to have some array elements. And that just means some product can handle an array. Now, the first thing we need to do is join. And I'm going to click on that. Shift 7 for ampersand. Click on that. Shift 7. right? So, And if we highlight this and hit the F9 key evaluate, you can see now we have a way of taking a record with multiple fields and treating it as if it were one single thing. Now we can use this one single thing and compare it against the entire table, and some product will help us count. I'm going to control Z. Now, I need to say equals. Is that equal to anything in this whole table? Now watch this. If I were just to highlight this whole table, it wouldn't work. And here's why. If I highlight this and hit F9, you can see array syntax, comma, comma, semicolon. Commas mean columns. It means I went from EVA to quad. Remember, the comma means across the column. And when I get to the semicolon, it means go down to the next row. That won't work. We can't compare this single item here against, thing, against lots of items, or at least it's going to do us no good here. We need to compare this single item against a single column. Now, I'm going to delete that. And the way we can convert three columns of a table of three columns of data into one column is to use the ampersand again, except for instead of on single items, we'll do the whole column. Click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4 to lock it, ampersand. Click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4, ampersand, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4. So now what we've done, if it would let me highlight this, Sometimes it would be too big. I think this will be fine. If I hit the uh, F9 key, now you can see, oh, that's so cool. It take, it's the whole data set. And each record has been reduced to a single item. And then that semicolon me means go down to the next row. So that's a whole column. Control Z. So we can compare a single item against a column, and it works just fine. Now, this will give us a bunch of trues and falses if I hit F9. We need to count those. We need to convert the falses to zeros and the trues to ones. Control Z. So I'm going to put double negative, open parentheses. Close parentheses on that, close parentheses on that. Now, of course, we would get, if we uh, evaluated it, a bunch of zero. There's, there's some ones in there somewhere. Control Z. Some product can handle this array. It sees that whole array of zeros and ones, and it will add all the ones and get a count. So right now, this is a unique record. Double click and send it down. There's a, there's a, got a duplicate there. There's one that's listed three times. All right, so that was the hard part. Now we need to sort. In uh, 2007, you can right click, sort, and point. To, I'm going to point to Z to A. In earlier version, just use your Z to A. Now, Z to A will bring all of the duplicates to the top. 
right? And so we can scroll down, and then there, there's our break. Now, from this, we can do our advanced filter. I'm going to scroll down. Now, we could have done this in big one, one big ugly array formula, but uh, sometimes methods like this are sweet and to the point uh, and are faster. All right, so there it is. I got my whole uh, data set with duplicate records. Notice the field names at the top. You've got to have those highlighted when you're doing data, advanced filter, co copy to another location. The list range, ooh, not right at all. I'm going to delete that. Um, be sure we get the right range, so I'm going to drag down until we see there. That's the right range. No criteria, because unique records checkbox is the criteria. And then copy to wherever you want to copy it. If you're copying it to another sheet, you need to start your advanced uh, filter on that other sheet. I'm going to paste, ooh, I got all sorts of stuff here. I'm going to paste it right here, and then click OK. And there we have our unique record of unique data set with unique records from a set of duplicates. All right, we'll see you next trick.